Hi, everybody. Um, so I wanted to give you uh, some ideas, some thoughts um, that I had um, over the course of the afternoon as I was checking your emails. Um, and uh, of course, the uh, announcement from Governor Holcomb. Um, I apologize for the vocal pauses. It's uh, kind of awkward seeing yourself and talking to yourself when really you want to be talking to a room full of people. Um, so May 1st, uh, is uh, the the new statement. Um, I've been trying to kind of prepare you all year for uncertainty in your lives. Um, the first lesson that I give you uh, is to watch a video clip of Elliot Ness and um, the character Malone from The Untouchables. And they're sitting there in this church and the Malone character comes to Elliot Ness and he says, uh, you know, essentially that, that he's going to help Elliot Ness, but he wants to know that Elliot Ness is willing to go all the way, uh, that he's not going to just give up, uh, especially if Malone is putting himself at risk. Um, and a number of students uh, in that, that first response um, were suggesting things like, uh, you know, that we're going to have to fight hard um, in AP Lit. And certainly that is the case. Um, but really, what I'm trying to prepare you for is the fact that you're going to have to fight hard in life. Um, I was asked to uh, to do a video for you, um, and certainly I was planning on doing another one for you on Monday. But you know, I, I recognize the the urgency of delivering something given the new directive of May first. Um, but I I have a little secret to tell you. I don't have any answers. Uh, I I don't know what I'm doing. Um, here, let, let me give you an example. Lizzie? Yeah. Do I know what I'm doing? No. <clears throat> See, I'm letting a 13-year-old sit in my bed, play video games, um, because she doesn't like the sound of other people chewing. Um, we've got a cat up here all day, uh, so those are my coworkers. Um, I've got another one, uh, holed up in his room. Um, yeah, I wore my pajamas up until about three o'clock. Um, goes against all conventional wisdom in terms of, you know, how we're supposed to be handling this. Um, but, you know, even though it's kind of, it's e-learning and I am working, it still feels kind of like a vacation, but it's not really a vacation. Um, I am doing work. You're sending me plenty to do. I've got other things that I have to be doing to catch up on. Um, but, you know, I, I really, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of like Prospero and Felix in that way. Um, in fact, uh, while I was working out uh, after um, my work day, uh, so I worked out from 3.30 to 4.30, got about an hour in, and I'm on the treadmill and all of a sudden uh, Lose Yourself comes on. Imagine that, the feet. And, um, you know, I'm so I'm working out and I'm thinking to myself, uh, you know, that, that I am very much like Prospero, uh, that that I I really just know the magic words, that it's really you guys who do the magic. You are Ariel. Um, you're the free spirit. You are allowed to be free. Prospero actually is ultimately going to be going back to prison. Um, he's no longer a prisoner on the island. Uh, the audience will free him, but he's got to go back to civilization. And be somebody who he doesn't know who he's supposed to be. Um, it's Ariel who is the freest at the end of that play. So um, I, I, I have no special wisdom, I guess, right now. Um, and ultimately, this message is really all over the place. Um, but I want to share with you a story that uh, uh, might provide some insight for all of us. Uh, it was one of my son's favorite stories when he was little, and I think I've alluded to it in the past. It's called, My Truck is Stuck. My truck is stuck. Dump truck coming down the road. Dump truck hauling a great big load. Round and round the wheels they roll. Round and round. 
into a hole. Oh, rotten luck. My truck is stuck. Gears grind, the engine roars, but the truck won't go. Not one inch more. That's kind of where you are, right? You're stuck. Help, please help. Does anyone know how to make my stuck truck go? Beep, beep, here comes a car full of travelers traveling far. Well, they're not alone. You're not alone. Rotten luck, can't go. My truck is stuck. Tug and tow, two engines roar, but the truck won't go. Not one inch more. Help, help, does anyone know how to make my stuck truck go? Beep, beep, here comes a van, driven by a moving man. Rotten luck, can't go, my truck is stuck. Drag and draw, tug and tow, three engines roar, but the truck won't go. Help, help, please help. Does anyone know how to make my stuck truck go? Here comes a Jeep up a hillside, very steep. Rotten luck, can't go. My truck is stuck. Heft and haul, tug and tow, four engines roar. The truck still won't go. We're counting. Help, help. Please help, does anyone know how to make my stuck truck go? Beep, beep, here comes a bus full of youngsters. What a fuss. They're asking for help. Rotten luck, can't go, my truck is stuck. Lug and lurch, tug and tow, five engines roar. The truck won't go. Honk, honk. No need to panic. Here comes a tow truck with a mechanic. Mr. Mechanic, I'm sure you know how to make my stuck truck go. Sure, to move it on its way, just hook it up, and then you'll say... What luck! My truck's not stuck! Vroom, vroom, now car and bus, bus and car and van and jeep and bus all move on without a fuss and the dump truck rolls on down the road on its way to deliver a great big load so if you were paying attention those gophers uh prairie dogs wherever they are and stealing the bones from the dogs in the back of the dump truck so people driving the dump truck they got stuck obviously but people came along and helped them along the way they got out they got out by asking for help. It took a lot of help to get them out of the hole, but they got out. At the same time, at the very end, they don't have a load of bones to deliver to anybody. So they're, they're out of luck. Their expectations were turned upside down. Um, things just didn't go their way, but they're out of the hole. That's life. Felix says in Hagseed, where there's booze, there's life. We need that balance. We need the balance. It sucks that you guys are going to miss April of your senior year. Um, you know, it's who knows what's going to happen at the end. Um, we don't know. Uh, and I'm going to be hopeful. I'm going to be hopeful for you. Um, but this is, this is not the end of the world. This is not the end of the world. Fall will come. You'll go off to school, or maybe not. But at some time, this will be over. This will end. And tomorrow will be a new day. There will be a new opportunity. Right now, it feels awful. It feels terrible. Uh, it feels like the end of the world. I have felt moments that have felt like the end of the world, but this moment is not the end of the world. You will get by, you'll get through. 
Think about uh, the We Grow Accustomed to the Dark. Think about choices. Both of those poems are going to come back to us when we start reading Heart of Darkness. This will pass. For now, remember that. Think about what happens in The Tempest. Think about the ending. When is it that they leave the island? They leave at the start of a new day. They leave in the morning. Morning will come. Morning will always come. It's one of the things that we can count on. There's going to be some very deliberate music choices that I'll be sharing with you in the coming days. Um, I gave you one today that was on purpose. Um, just stay in touch if you need me. Um, and I'm going to experiment with some of these different tools and we'll see what happens. We'll see what comes of them. Um, if we need to do more face to face, if you need me to call you, let me know. I'll give you a call. Okay. Take care. I love you in a school appropriate way. <laughs>